Welcome ConnectWise partners, the IT Nation, your community. It's been just a little over a year since we've met to talk about the ConnectWise platform and how it helps you on your journey to success. A lot has happened in a year. Last year, we were just seeing the start of a pandemic in a race to work from home. And now we're seeing a return to the office, but in a completely different way. Your customers need a flexible work environment that is safe to include digitally. But they're also dealing with struggles in their business. You see them, they're dealing with talent, finance, and security, cybersecurity. It's up to you to help. The world needs technology to make it through these challenges. You are the heroes bringing them that technology. And ConnectWise wants to help you through this platform, through the business transformation we've created with the IT Nation so that you can get the job done. But not just get the job done, Get it done in a way that you enjoy, helping people and enjoy working in technology. We have automated the processes. We have the tools. We've unified a platform so that you can focus on what you love doing and leave the administrative burden to us. This is why we get together at IT Nation Explore, to learn from each other, learn our best practices, and get the most out of the software, like I have seen so many accomplish. Thank you for everything you do to keep your customers up and productive and importantly, safe. I wish we could be back in person, right? So we can learn, share, bond, strengthen our community, but I feel we can still accomplish so much over the next few weeks from our offices and our homes. And look, we heard you last year and we've made some changes. We wanna make sure you get what you need without tying you to this screen all day. If you look at the agenda, we've broken it up by role. You have sales and marketing, finance and operations, service delivery. Take a few hours out of a few days of the week. I've seen so many partners learn from us, learn from each other, and truly transform the way you get things done. Oh, and by the way, we're still meeting in person. We have meetups in 12 cities in the US. Be sure to check out the agenda and get signed up for one. You can meet with ConnectWise colleagues and your peers in the IT nation. Now, at Explore, we're gonna deep dive into these products, uncover new ways to do things, and I know what some of you are thinking. Well, what innovation have you done since the last time we talked? Because I've already learned some of this. Well, over the next hour, you're gonna hear from the product leaders. They will cover what we've done, what is being released, and what is yet to come. And we know we have some work to do. We've been spending a lot of time securing the platform, and we're gonna talk about that because your success has always been our core value. So let's get this started. We are here to celebrate you, the technology professional, the hero in your community. Let's learn about the tools to get the job done. Learn from this community, it's yours. ConnectWise is here to learn too. Together, we will bring technology to the rescue to the customers around the world. Now, for the man of the hour, he's here with me, I would like to introduce Jeff Bishop, Chief Product Officer. How you doing, Jeff? Appreciate it, Craig. Thanks for having me on. Thanks, everybody, for letting me come speak with you today. Uh, like Craig, I wish I was in Orlando hanging out with everybody live, but we're going to do this remote and uh, try to make it as valuable as possible. All right. We've got some important topics to touch on. You know, last month we had IT Nation Secure. Some of you may have been there live. Some of you may have, have remoted in, but cybersecurity is the big topic. So let's jump into that, Jeff. Um, tell us, you know, tell the audience, what has ConnectWise done to secure itself? Well, it's, it's not like it's brand new, right, Greg? We've been working on security here as a company for years and years. Uh, led today by our uh, CISO, Tom Greco. Um, he's been working with us to try to take security from being a program within a company to be uh, engaging, strategic, uh, part of the DNA of who we are here at ConnectWise. So, you know, some of the things he's been working on is getting us through some of our, our certifications and training like NIST, ISO, implementing CIS controls. Uh, we've, you know, oh gosh, he's hired nearly two dozen uh, team members onto that InfoSec group. Uh, there's people focused on governance and privacy, uh, application security, vulnerability and threat management, uh, introducing IEM, not only here for the company, but into our products, uh, putting in additional endpoint protections, uh, incident response. I mean, this team is really, really busy. And we've grown another team, uh, those of you may have seen it. We have the IT Nation Secure team, and they're delivering cybersecurity certifications, right? These teams are working together, 
And if you, may, if you haven't heard of it, you can go out to the university, check our certifications. We have fundamentals and advanced. This is exciting stuff. Partners are sending every colleague in their company there because they're like, I want to institute a culture of cybersecurity. So along those lines, we're doing the same thing. We absolutely are. You know, and, and to, to reinforce what Craig just said, if you haven't attended those or your team hasn't, yeah. get them signed up. I mean, it's some of the best training I've seen, and I hear nothing but just rave reviews yeah. about what that team has done. But you're right, Craig. It, it has to become part of your culture. Um, so some of the things that Tom has been working on with the product organization is to uh, – do uh, OWASP training, uh, implement those policies and those best practices, uh, introduce some threat modeling. Uh, we've been working with the developers to continue the education. You know, ethical hacking is one of the things that we've, we've been focused on, but there's additional training that we're bringing in from outside groups to help us be more successful there. Uh, we've implemented uh, Veracode and GitHub uh, to make sure that we've got sandboxes and uh, static testing and, and ways so that our developers are, are testing the code not only at the build, but as they check it in. Yeah. Uh, we've done things like vulnerability and penetration testing with third-party groups, not just the same third-party groups every single time. We're revolving, uh, rotating those, revolving them uh, in to make sure that we've got different groups testing and probing uh, one behind the other every quarter. Yeah, and this, this culture for us, we're calling it a shift left focus, and I love that, but we're also getting this community involved. Talk, tell us about that. Well, the bug bounty program is probably the very first thing, yeah. right? So you can see that on our trust site. So we've got a community of people out there, you know, hopefully all ethical hackers, but they're people that are probing and trying to find holes and gaps inside yeah. of our products and our infrastructure and are letting us know about it. Uh, and a lot of the members out here in our community uh, are certainly participating and, and feeding stuff in there. Yeah, so... That covers, you know, the highlights of what ConnectWise is doing to protect itself. You know, those of you that have seen some of this training we have, we always say it's like the airplane when you get on and the mask drops and they give you the training, put your mask on first and then help others, right? You have to secure yourself, then secure your customers. So let's talk about that part. Uh, Jeff, tell us what's been going on with security inside the product offering. Yeah, the, the Protect Your House sort of program, right? So... It, a lot of what the, the CISO team has been doing is very closely tied into what we do as a product and into our platform and across all of the, the product suite. But uh, very specifically, you know, we've got the SOC 2 and SOC 3 reports that are available for all the products. Uh, we have been implementing the uh, security bulletins on the trust site. So anytime that something does pop up, you know, we don't want to see those, but when they do, we try to make sure that we keep our partners aware of that. Yeah, I love that. That aspect of transparency is big, right? It yeah. is. It is. It's something that uh, we keep striving to be better at. We're not perfect, but it is uh, something that we've been really focusing on for the last year or more. Yeah. Uh, mandatory MFA, yeah. right? Yeah. So a lot of the products have MFA. They've got uh, either our own uh, in-house stuff that we build in with our SSO or third-party uh, MFA tools. But go forward, uh, by the end of the year, we're going to be making that a mandatory requirement. Yeah, we know we have to do this because when we see the media reports and, and we hear some, some of our partners, most of these incidents are because simple password policies. So many could have been resolved through yeah. just a one additional little step, yeah. a mouse click, and an extra like three seconds as part of your authentication into the application. So it's, uh, it's something we made optional, but um, you know, it was required on some of the products, but now we're gonna extend that across yeah, that, that, the entire portfolio. That, that's a keystone part of having a cybersecurity culture. So what else? I know there's more. Uh, no, there's lots of things that we're doing. I mean, some of the cool ones will be, uh, we're gonna try to make sure that we continue to expand out IP whitelisting. Okay. You know, Control Product Line does that today. We're gonna take that out to RMMs and other products, so you can control who, has, who from an, like an admin perspective can authenticate into your applications. Um, we're going to try to remove the AV exclusions that we have in some of the product lines. And uh, we're just going to continue to add additional endpoint security and, and tighten up the cloud you know, through some of the things that Tom and that InfoSec team are doing. Okay. It's great. It's good to hear. Um, you know, security first is the priority. Now, um, but we do have some cool announcements. We so do. One thing a lot of you may not know is a part of our expert services in our product offering is a SOC. So we've got a security operations center that you can get as you, if you leverage Fortify, if you leverage Perch. And what I've learned over the years in cybersecurity is you just got to monitor a lot of logs. And that's what that team specializes in. So 
because we have that, there's a unique thing that you want to talk about. Right? I do. So we talked about this a lot as a company, and we just hadn't pulled the trigger. But uh, that SOC, right, uh, led by Drew Sanford, uh, is going to start to scan our entire infrastructure that's, of products. So big. our cloud and on-prem, we're going to roll out as our SOC service to make sure that we are monitoring all of that. So we're going to start off with automate. We're going to then move that across the entire cloud architecture. And then we're going to make that available out to our on-prem customers as well as something they can opt into. That's a big part, you know, if we're doing that airplane analogy, that's a big part of putting the mask on yeah. first, right? Like, and, and that's incredible. I'm excited about that. And look, we covered cybersecurity. Let's talk about what's happening in a product. We hear it all the time from our partners and we love to highlight innovation. So um, Jeff, I know there's been a lot of things happening behind the scenes under the hood. What can you tell us? Yeah, so last year at uh, IT Nation Connect, we talked a little bit about the go forward platform that we're building. Look, we've got a little over 23 disparate products. These products integrate together. Uh, we sync companies and contacts and devices. Uh, we try to make sure that they have a great uh, integration and experience between them. But it's always going to be an integration. Yeah. It's always going to be that syncing of data as long as they remain as 23 disparate products. Yeah. So what we've been focusing on is bring, building out that new modern cloud architecture that brings all this together. No longer are we syncing data. Once you create a company inside of one you know, inside of the Fortify area, it's automatically available in the PSA. It's automatically available in the RMM. And so, look, the experience and ease of use is, is fantastic. And also, from a development perspective, allows us to go a lot faster. Yeah. We've got dozens of microservices that are now being consumed across the different product lines as we kind of bring everything together. And that means that we don't have to build that same service 23 times. Yeah. We can build it once and take advantage yeah. of it. I, I feel like this has been a long time coming and the benefits, right? Developers can work faster. We can keep it more secure. We can develop and deliver innovation faster than ever. I like to, there's a couple metaphors I like to use, right? It's like, you know, you build an interstate through a city. As the city grows, demands change. The interstate becomes a little clogged. It's time to build a new one right, or a house, it's like, yeah, we built this house, this addition, that addition, this has changed, there's new electrical, there's new hurricane codes. Sometimes it's just better to just build a new house on the property and eventually move everyone over there. Um, look, when can we start to see this? When, when, like, when's the next big announcement on this? So throughout the rest of the keynote and the event of Explore, you're gonna start to see bits and pieces of this. Our, yeah. our team is going to show you some of the new technology they're working on, the new products, new features, problems that they are solving for you as a customer. Uh, but the big announcements is going to be at IT Nation Connect. IT really Nation excited. Connect, November 10th to the 12th. Jeff, hey, you're going to be there. I'm going to be. It's a live event. You know I'm going to be there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I love it because, you know, th this is going to be awesome. You know, when we kick that event off, we're going to have a lot of product innovation to talk about and show. Um, in, on this topic, on you know, bringing this platform together, so we got a lot to cover, right? The team's been, your team's been doing a lot of things. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna start to dive into those. Um, let's get the party started, Jeff. Uh, exactly, let's do it. So stay <laughs> tuned for the rest of the keynote, and thank you very much for your time today. Hi, my name's Dave Leclaire, and I am the portfolio lead for our unified management and monitoring solutions. That consists of our RMM products, BDR products, and remote access products. I'm here today to talk about a new BDR solution that we just launched this month called Recover Complete BDR. With Recover Complete BDR, we really wanted to look at how partners were managing their backup and disaster rec recovery solutions and see if there was a new approach that we could actually take. And as we did this, we did a lot of discovery, a lot of research, surveys, talking with our partners, trying to figure out what the main pain points they were dealing with. And two things really jumped out of those discussions. One, they simply told us they were managing multiple backup vendors. Most partners actually have three or more BDR solutions deployed. Uh, if you're lucky enough to only have one, you're kind of in the minority. Most actually have multiple, and as a result of that, they're dealing with jumping between different portals and different products. The second thing they told us is we simply spend too much time managing backups. It's technician time that we would rather have focusing on other parts of our business, but we actually have to keep backups up and running. It's a critical part of our business. It's a critical part of our security posture. 
but it simply just takes us too much time to do so. So we really focused on what could we do looking at all the different capabilities that we actually have, the ecosystem of solution partners that we actually have in, in ConnectWise Marketplace, uh, as well as other capabilities such as our NOC. What could we actually do to basically help our partners solve these two major partners? And that's really what Recover Complete BDR is all about. So with Recover Complete BDR, what we're doing is we're providing a single pane of glass that allows you to have a complete view of your BDR, even if you have multiple vendors deployed. Those integrated vendors will actually be able to send us their, their status information, and rather than have it being buried deep into a, an integration screen that's multiple clicks away, or actually have your technicians have to jump over to those backup portals themselves from the vendors, we wanted to have a single pane of glass that allows you to quickly see what my backup status was and be able to do it in the same location that we actually have in our platform where you're doing and seeing other status, whether it's for security or patching or uptime. Those, we wanted to actually be able to go from those other views into a BDR view very quickly. And that's really what we focused on building was a user experience that will allow you to do that, allowing you to simplify the processes that your technicians have to do to just maintain and see the status of what's going on with their backups. In addition to that, what we've done is with Recover BDR, we also offer optional NOC services on top of the third parties that are integrating with us, the third party backup solutions that are integrating with us. So one of the things that you can do to basically gain back some of the time is let our NOC handle some of the routine backup tasks for you. So with this solution, not only do we provide an integrated solution for multiple vendors, but you can also rely on us to actually take over some of the day-to-day -day tasks of managing your backups and also be an extension of your team in the event of actually you do have a disaster and need to do a recovery. So with that, Recover BDR allows us to solve those two main pain points. I'm managing multiple backups and I'm spending too much time on my backups. Of course, we're going to basically build this with multiple vendors, but someone had to be first. Uh, our first product that we launched was with Acronis. Acronis worked very closely with us on the initial user experience. Uh, we launched that earlier this month in July so that Recover Complete BDR for Acronis is now available today. As we go through the rest of this year, we will be adding additional vendors into the solution as well. Uh, obviously, there's major vendors that are in our ecosystem, uh, including Veeam, Acronis, StorageCraft, Axiant, Storage Guardian, and others that we fully anticipate will be part of this at some point in the future. So how easy is it to get this integration going? It couldn't be simpler. There's a, a, a simple handshake that has to take place between our platform and the BDR vendor. We provide a mechanism for, for, for the key exchanges to be done there. We provide a mechanism for you to sync up your sites so that a site on the BDR vendor site and a site on our side uh, get matched up so we know exactly which devices we're managing. Um, and we allow you to optionally decide which sites you actually want to have NOC services on and which ones you don't. So with that, you can really literally be up and running in just a couple minutes uh, through these fast integration steps that we actually provide. So the other part of the value is, of course, the NOC assistance. So we sometimes have people ask, well, what can the NOC assist me with? So in addition to kind of handling the day-to-day -day alerts and, and that come in from backup, and backup can be noisy. It, you know, a, it's not atypical for you to go away on a weekend, come back on Monday morning, and find that 10 of your backups have failed, and you now have to spend time actually getting those backups online. With knock assistance, those tickets won't be waiting for you on, on Monday morning. Those tickets would have gone to our knock. Our knock would have actually probably taken care of 80 to 90% of those tickets. Um, and you come in on Monday morning, there's only one that they weren't able to address uh, and take care of, usually because there was some limitation. The machine was offline and needs to be brought back online uh, or, 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 or some other reason. So because of that, 
instead of having to spend hours getting your backup uh, online, you can basically uh, take 80 to 90% of that workload off your technicians. The other thing that they're able to do is both proactive and reactive support. So if you wanted to actually have the NOC do DR testing for, for you, you can actually have them assist in getting your DR test environment set up. If you actually have a DR event uh, and need to fail over to your DR environment, they are there to assist you with that failover, getting that environment tuned up. And when it's time to basically fail back into your production environment, they can help with that as well. Those can be very time consuming, stressful events. Uh, and having these extra really set of hands, an extra set of resources uh, can really allow your technicians to focus on other parts of your business. So we've been excited to launch this with Acronis. We are excited to basically build other partners into this as we go through the year. Um, and we'd really be thrilled if you would come talk to us in the uh, ConnectWise uh, booth uh, over the, the uh, coming days. Uh, and we'd be happy to kind of walk you through, give you a demo of this, uh, explain it in more detail, uh, and have you check out the new Recover Complete BDR. All right, thank you, Dave. My name is Sam Demeling, and I have an amazing team here at ConnectWise, and this team is responsible for working with vendors and distributors to find out better ways we can connect them to your business. There's a lot of areas we can focus on when we do this, and one area we took a look at recently was billing. What does it look like to actually take usage-based information that you get from vendors and distributors and take it all the way to the invoices that you're delivering to your customers? This is a fun problem. You actually have a name for it already. When we were doing our interviews, we discovered you called this process reconciliation. It's a monthly process. It can be very time consuming because there's a lot of manual steps involved. Uh, unfortunately, there is not a lot of automation out there today. There's some, but there's still many vendors and distributors that you are working with where they're delivering a spreadsheet and you're having to manually move that content over to ConnectWise Manage. Secondly, we discovered that this process can be error prone. Even when there is automation, sometimes the wrong number makes it into the system. When a wrong number makes it all the way to an invoice, trust is broken with your customer. It really sucks as a technology to get a call from a customer asking why your technology gave them the wrong number on an invoice in the first place. That's hard to recover from. We wanna give you all the tools you can have to help prevent this kind of problem from having, happening in the first place. We don't want you to have to try to explain that away. So that's a little bit of the background of the kind of problem we're trying to solve. Let's go ahead and play the reconciliation game. And unfortunately, it's not like this. This is a fun game. I enjoy this one quite a bit. This is colorful. We have a bee in a cloud over here, and on the other side, there's no bee in the cloud. I enjoy playing this game. It's pleasant. But unfortunately, the reconciliation game is more like this. We're putting ConnectWise Manage on one monitor, we're putting the Excel spreadsheet on another monitor, and we're squinting our eyes, and we're trying to figure out what's actually going on, what's different here. I have to match up the product, I have to match up the customer, I have to match up the quantity. Oh, this is not any fun. So instead of playing this game, let's go ahead and actually do it with Reconcile. So I'm gonna go ahead and head over to the finance section inside of ConnectWise Manage, and we're gonna go ahead and do a reconciliation. The first screen I see is my vendor and distributor management screen, and we're gonna go ahead and create a new one. What we've learned is that every vendor and distributor, they at least have to produce a spreadsheet for you to do a reconciliation. But let's leverage that. Let's make it so that any spreadsheet you get or CSV file you get, we can actually bring in and do a reconciliation with, so you don't have to play the spot the differences game. But the first thing we have to do when we do that is we have to transform that spreadsheet into something meaningful that ConnectWise Manage Editions understand. And there's three key pieces of data for that. First, we need a customer. Second, we need to bring in the vendor product that we're working with. And third, we need to map the quantity that we have. And this is all done with drag and drop. It's very easy and very fast to match the columns up. We might have a start date and cost for operation that you can map as well, but that's optional. Once we've mapped everything, now we have to convert vendor information into ConnectWise Manage information for customers and products. Because it turns out, a customer might not be exactly the same between both systems. A vendor might know it as Beachcomber Inc. 
and managed might know it as just Beachcomber. They drop the comma ink. Uh, product numbers are generally going to be different between what, what our vendor has and what you're maintaining inside of ConnectWise Managed. So we map all those. We review the mapping and we get to the cool stuff next. Check this out. Ugh, check this. This is a big change. I talked about trust. This scares me. I don't want a big change like this going onto my agreement for my customer the next month. I'm going to reject that. Everything else I'm going to approve. But what's important here, we told you what's going to change on your additions before they automatically happen. This is how you put trust into the system. All right, let's quickly go ahead and review what we actually change instead of our additions because there's one very final important piece here. What we do is we're able to track history. This lets you know six months ago what was different between my additions inside of an agreement were what they're at right now. I actually have a history of all the changes that have happened. Very useful for auditing, very useful for reporting and research. All right, that's the import version of it, but there's more. Let's talk direct reconciliations, and this is fun. We get the work at Marketplace inside of ConnectWise on my team as well, and this is the way you can actually go and buy products from many different vendors out there. We have 15 today. Rubru and Acronis are some amazing partners that have sponsored IT Nation Explore. Uh, thank you guys very much. They're in our marketplace. But we also have 243 products we resell through the marketplace as well. These are all products that are usage based that you have to sell to your own customers. And what's great about direct reconciliations is I don't even have to do a spreadsheet. Let's go ahead and just hit the button here. And no file. I'm just picking WebRoot. That's exciting. Bam, we're done with that. Now, we know what the data is. We don't have to map anymore. It's just done. Yes, that's exciting. Uh, we may have to map customers and products, but we can also save what we've mapped so we don't have to do that again. And then we just get straight to the reconciliation screen. 30 seconds, guys. That's how long it took to get all our web root data from the marketplace directly into Reconcile so you can manage your agreements every single month. That is amazing. All right, profitability. Profitability is something we're able to give you insight on because we have a central database where we're collecting all this information from other reconciliations. We can see for any vendor product you're reconciling, well, what's the community doing? Is their price higher or lower than mine? Well, that's an important question. If I can tell what my price is compared to the community average, I might be able to have a conversation with my team. Okay, guys, my price is lower, or our price is lower than what the community is doing. Maybe this is an opportunity for me as a business to have a, a question about our pricing and maybe we should increase it. This gives you valuable data insights as a business to help make some strategic decisions along those lines. All right, finally, next steps. We have a reconcile breakout session during the finance and operations days. This is gonna be an extended breakout where we're gonna cover many examples of different spreadsheets, different kinds of vendors we work with, and showing you in great deep detail how we actually do these reconciliations. And finally, this is just a part of Manage 2021.2. This is exciting. This is not something you have to buy. You don't have to do anything special to get it. It's just going to be a part of the finance menu. I hope you check it out and it provides a lot of value to your business. We think it can be a great step in helping you do your reconciliations every single month. All right, thank you very much. And with that, I'd like to introduce Brooke Candelore of BreakAge. Thanks, Sam. And hello, IT Nation. I'm Brooke Candelore, and I'm one of the product managers for BrightGage, which is ConnectWise's business intelligence and reporting solution. If you have been a part of the IT Nation community over the last year, you may have heard that the BrightGage product and development teams have been working hard to deliver a small scale version of the product called BrightGage Essentials. If you're not using BrightGage yet, but want to begin using data to improve your business, BrightGage Essentials was made for you. Best of all, BrightGage Essentials is completely free for all ConnectWise partners using Manage. But before we get into that, let me tell you a little bit more about BrightGage in case you're unfamiliar with the product. BrightGage is a business analytics solution which enables you to create dashboards and reports and set goals from the data and the apps and services that you use every day. It improves your company's productivity by centralizing the data from your PSA, your RMM, 
and many other tools, such as your financial or CSAT survey. Brightgage is designed to give you mo get the most out of your data, whether you're looking for an out-of-the-box solution, giving you insight into the health of, your, health of your business, or customization tailored to your business, allowing you to bring together multiple data sources into a single graph. If you're interested in learning more about Brightgage, please stop by the virtual Brightgage product booth. The team and I will be there and we'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. Now, I'd like to share with you some more details around our big announcement, Brightgage Essentials. We are excited to announce that Brightgage Essentials will be launched very soon. And as I mentioned earlier, it is a small scale version of Brightgage with out of the box dashboards giving you immediate insight into the health of your business. It will be available for free for ConnectWise partners using Manage. If you have never used Brightgage, the launch of Brightgage Essentials is a great time to check it out. We've designed Essentials to be lightweight and easy to implement with pre-selected metrics for partners just starting to use data to help drive their business. Now, there are a few differences between the full Brightgage product and Essentials, which are illustrated in this table. The primary difference is the full Brightgage product allows you to create and customize your own metrics. It allows you to schedule reports as well as track weekly goals. Specifying and tracking specific metrics, often referred to as key performance indicators or KPIs, can help you grow your business by clarifying a definition of success with your team. Essentials makes many important metrics easily accessible with several dashboards and reports that you can use to monitor performance and identify areas for improvement. These metrics include operational metrics, such as average time to resolution and tickets by SLA status, as well as financial metrics, such as revenue won by sales rep. Here's an example of one of the dashboards available out of the box with Brightgage Essentials, which is focusing on financial metrics. With this financial dashboard, you can easily identify revenue that is still waiting to be built, as well as revenue that has not yet been collected on invoices 90 days past due. Tracking these metrics will help you get paid and make your business stronger. You can track how your company is growing by reviewing your recurring revenue on agreements, and you can project upcoming revenue based on the invoices that have just been sent and are yet to be paid. Here's another dashboard available with Essentials, which covers service and revenue metrics. With this dashboard, you can get insight into how quickly your team is resolving client issues by tracking average time to resolution plan. You can also gather data for annual reviews, which will help your team set measurable goals by filtering this dashboard for a specific team member. You can review the list of stale projects and identify projects that are not on track for completion. Lastly, you can ensure high priority tickets are not falling through the cracks by reviewing open tickets by priority. Tracking all of these metrics will make your business healthier and you make you more successful. Brightgage Essentials is currently in pilot with a small group of partners and will be made available for every managed partner very soon. Although we review metrics that will be available for manage, we're not stopping there. Just like the full Brightgage product integrates with many different software solutions, Essentials will also integrate with several other products in the ConnectWise suite. If you'd like to receive information on Essentials when it becomes available or participate in the pilot, please let us know by sharing your information with us at connectwise.com forward slash. And now back to Craig Fulton for a quick recap of IT Nation. Thanks, Brooke, and thank you all of the ConnectWise product leaders for demonstrating all the great innovations you've done to help our partners find success. Now, one thing I would like to get into is what we talked about last month. We had an IT Nation event called IT Nation Secure. It was our second conference focused on cybersecurity, but the first time we've been able to come back in person. We did meet last October, uh, but I want to recap what we did there because I had an awakening and some would say, welcome to the party, Craig. You know, as being a prior tech, I thought I had it figured out, but I learned some things. And I think the biggest takeaway for me is that this is the most important thing we can be doing for the world right now, you know, protecting the technology of our customers. Um, 
And there's just some slight differences from managed services that people need to be aware of, right? We talked about the talent challenges that are there. And that was a lot of the conversation I was having with partners in the pavilion, in the hallways, you know, talking about how, you know, a technician delivering on managed services has a little bit of a different behavior than someone doing cybersecurity. And some might think, no, there's no differences there. But look, we know from working together we don't like to do checklists. We don't like to get our time in, you know, working through documentation, updating assets and configurations. Those things are critical in delivering on cybersecurity. Those things are critical in ensuring that your customers and yourself is protected. And that was an eye opener for me was realizing like, we've got a lot of work to do, right? We've got to change the way we do things. We've got to do the checklist because it's not like, you know, when we're delivering our managed services and we miss a step when we're setting up a computer and that step is, oh, now they can't print, we can fix that. You miss a step when you're working through a threat or a potential breach, it could mean the end of a business, livelihoods change, communities get disrupted, and we know that. We've seen this in the news. So we've got to change the way we do things, and IT Nation Secure is one of the big things we're doing in IT Nation to ensure that you know what you need to do. So I am joined by Jay Ryersey, the Vice President of Cybersecurity Initiatives at ConnectWise. Jay has had an MSP himself. He built a cybersecurity business and is now a part of ConnectWise in the IT Nation. Jay, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Craig. Thanks for being here and welcome uh, IT Nation. I'm glad to have this opportunity to spend a few minutes with you. Yeah, and look, we, you know, we had a lot of great announcements. We worked together at the keynote. We worked on main stage. What was the, the one thing you were most excited about uh, announcing at, at Secure? I think it was the announcement of, of the ConnectWise Cybersecurity Research Unit, or CRU as we're calling it. Uh, you, know, you talked just now about you know, the, the need to follow checklists and to really align you know, towards cybersecurity. And well, ConnectWise is going one step further, and we've actually built a research team We've taken some of our, our, our top talent from our, our security operations center and from the perch acquisition and built out this team focused on identifying and analyzing and researching threats that are impacting MSPs today in an effort to share that with the community and, and to really work you know, to help protect our partners. Yeah, you know, one of the things I commonly hear from partners is, look, I'm, I'm busy in my business, in my town, in my community, you know, keeping my customers up and productive. What's everyone else doing? So I love this. You know, this is us saying, you can come here to understand everything that's going on in cybersecurities. So that, that's great. Love that you're doing that. Um, but, you know, another thing we see is, you know, managed services. At ConnectWise, we've built a history of helping people transform their business and managed services in, in all aspects, finding operational efficiencies in the software, understanding how to financially manage their business, be proactive, gain recurring revenue, we see cybersecurity needing the same level of business transformation. So you talked about a great program we're having. Get into that. Yeah, so we've done a lot of the last year and a half, you know, working in the IT nation and the secure team, building out, you know, playbooks and guides and best practices for the partner community. And now we've expanded into our ConnectWise partner program for cybersecurity, where we're aligning with our partner community to do security with them. So we're going to work with our partners on business readiness, on marketing readiness, sales readiness, you know, and, and all the things necessary to help them, you know, ultimately build, grow, and accelerate their cybersecurity practice. And one of the other announcements, Craig, that I'm, I'm very excited about is that in our partner program, we've just added a new registered partner level. So if you're already buying a security from ConnectWise, whether it be from Perch or ConnectWise or any of the other acquisitions over the last few years, we now have the ability to help you with your marketing. We've built out uh, the white label of content you guys can use. We've given you a marketing automation platform and really the content you need to help start building that practice. And so if you're buying security from us today and you want to access, you know, and we want to enroll into the registered partner program, you can send an email to CPP, ConnectWise Partner Program at ConnectWise.com. I think it's pretty good because I one of the most common things I hear is, I've already been delivering managed services. They think I'm protecting them. How am I going to now have the conversation uh, to charge them more for this? So love that you're doing that. And along those same lines, we had some great breakout sessions that covered stuff like that at Secure. What are the top three that everyone should know about? 
Yeah, there were a lot to talk about, but the three that, that scored the biggest points and had the most attendance, like standing room only, uh, the first one was James Carroll did a How I Would Hack You session. And really just you know, gave perspective from the threat actor on what it looks like you know, as, as they're trying to break into a network. Another one uh, from Jennifer Bleem was cybersecurity sales in a post-pandemic world. You know, just talking about changing the conversation to risk and what that's going to look and sound like to really learn to have that conversation you just talked about as they're working towards business transformation. And another timely one was from Leah Shilabad, who delivered the four steps of getting IT security operations and recommendations approved every time. Now, Leah is actually an active MSP business owner, and she actually talked in depth about the value of CMMC and compliance and how to use that to help drive the, the, those cybersecurity conversations. Again, all these sessions were standing in room only. And I think that the, the, the biggest news for today is that we've made all three of these sessions available for you guys on demand. So you can go back and, and watch these you know, in your spare time um, over the next few days. Yeah, I was, in the, I was one of the people standing in the back of these rooms too. So there was a lot of great knowledge there. And look, we're not done talking about cybersecurity. We're going to start incorporating this. Everything we do at IT Nation because again, we firmly believe cybersecurity is the most important thing we can be delivering to the world, right? Our partners, you tuned in, the IT Nation, our great community have done a great job over the past couple of decades enabling businesses with technology so they can be up and productive. It's now time to make sure that they're also protected and importantly, we wanna make sure you are protected. So Jay, thanks for joining. You have any parting words for our audience? And as always, Craig, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay secure. All right. Thanks, Jay. Good to see you again. Okay, IT Nation, you've heard a lot, right? We talked about all that product innovation, and we are now excited to show you how to use these products, learn from each other, learn the best practices. So over the next few weeks, we're going to get into that. Next week, we have sales and marketing training. That's July 27th. The week of August 3rd, we're going to get into finance and operations. And then the final week of IT Nation Explore, August 10th, is our service delivery. So you're registered. If you have a colleague, if you have a friend you know could benefit from this, get them signed up. Go to theitnation.com slash explore. And as I mentioned in the beginning of this keynote, I talked about the meetups. We're coming to 12 cities in the United States. If one's near you, get signed up. We'd love to see you. Okay, we talked about a lot. We got into the cybersecurity at ConnectWise, the cybersecurity in our products. This is an ecosystem. There's a lot of great cybersecurity solution providers out there like WebRoot, Bitdefender, Sentinel One. Jeff, we've been, we've been doing a lot with them. We've got some a program just that we've just announced. That's right. So Sentinel One's been a backbone of what we've done uh, with our SOC services, our SOC endpoint services for years. And now we're starting to make that available to all partners. Whether you want to consume that through our SOC or you want to try to do it yourself, you can purchase Sentinel One through us here at ConnectWise uh, and, and bring that great solution into your environment. Yeah, because you know what's important here is, we talked about this at Secure, the complexity and the frequency of cybersecurity threats is increasing. Enterprise grade solutions are really what we need and that's what we're delivering through this ecosystem. Um, so happy to have that. Now, let's get into it, right? There's a lot to learn and a lot to talk about. Jeff, thanks for being here. Appreciate your time. We are going to be on chat over the next few months, right? Or That's a few right. weeks, not months. Few next weeks. few weeks, yeah, absolutely. We'll, uh, we'll see everybody in each of the different uh, yep. trained events each week. So I'll be sitting in on a lot of the service delivery as well as some of the finance. And we'll be in the product booths on the platform. So if you see us, hit us up. We'll see you soon. Thanks for IT Nation for coming to IT Nation Explore. Have a great time. Thank you.